Hello and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at the different structural members of an aircraft, their functions and how is an aircraft built. A fixed wing aircraft consists of different components such as the fuselage, wings, stabilizers, flight control surfaces and landing gear. These components which are part of the airframe are assembled together using rivets, bolts, screws or different welding techniques. We will look at the different structural members which are used in these airframe components to understand how an aircraft is built. Construction of a fuselage there are two types of fuselage constructions, truss type, monocoque type. A truss type consists of steel or aluminum alloy tubes which are welded together. All the tubes carry tension and compression loads. This type of construction can be seen on small single engine aircraft. Monocoque type. There are two monocoque types of fuselage constructions a complete monocoque and a semi monocoque. A complete monocoque consists of aircraft skin, formers, frames, and bulkheads. Here, the skin is the primary load carrying member, so the strength of the skin plays a major role in this type of construction. A semi-monocoque type of fuselage consists of skin, formers, frames, bulkheads and longitudinal members called longerons and stringers. Here the skin is not the primary load carrying member. The load gets distributed to these different structural components. Most modern aircraft have a semi-monocoque type of fuselage since it is a fail-safe design. This means that failure of a single structural component will not have an impact on the safety of the fuselage. Construction of the wing A wing is built using metallic skin, spar, stringers and ribs, which are held together using rivets or bolts. The loads acting on the wing are transmitted from the skin to the spars and the ribs so that the load gets distributed to the different structural members. The spars are the primary structural members of the wing. The spars run along the span of the wing from the fuselage to the wing tips. The stringers also run along the wing span but are smaller than the spars. Depending on the size of the wing, there may be a single spar or multiple spars used to support the wing. The ribs extend from the wing's leading edge to the trailing edge. The ribs give the wing the required cambered shape and also assist in transmitting the loads to the different structural members. Construction of the tail section The structural members of the tail section or the empennage are same as that of the fuselage and the wing. The construction of the tail cone is similar to the fuselage with bulkheads, longerons, stringers and a metallic skin. However, lighter materials are used since less stresses are acting here. The horizontal and vertical stabilizers are similar in construction to the wing with spars, ribs, longerons, stringers and skin. In the empennage, again the basic principle is to distribute the load across different structural members 
and have a fail-safe design. So that's all for my video on the different structural members of an aircraft and how an aircraft is built. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.